Hey, Rob from the Stack and Lantern here. I'm shooting this on Easter Monday, 2021, just over a week before we get to reopen. Back in November, 2019, way before the pandemic and uh, lockdown hairstyles, I got the keys for here and thought I would start documenting the process, turning the premises from a sports nutrition shop to a micro pub and upload the videos to YouTube as a sort of video diary. Which, yeah, uh, things took a lot longer than anticipated. Then there was the pandemic. Anyway, over a year later, here we are. I've decided to cut together what I recorded originally, add a few comments along the way and upload for your viewing pleasure. Also, I plan to put together a video after this one going over what happened between then and now and explain what did and did not work and end up happening as planned. So if you are interested in more videos about opening and running a micropub, give this video a like, give the channel a subscribe and feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Enjoy. Cheers. I'm opening a micropub uh, and I've decided it'd be pretty cool to put together a video series documenting uh, the work and everything going on behind the scenes to try and get up and running. Uh, firstly, apologise about the cold. Um, if I sound a bit bunged up, well, yeah, I've got a cold. I guess one thing I've got to do is get used to being on camera. Not enjoying it at the moment, but uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So first things I'm going to do is get a little video tour showing people around uh, how everything looks right now. And probably over the coming weeks, give updates about what's going on, what we've been able to do, what we still need to do. Show you um, maybe, I don't know what, show you some things, yeah. Um, I got the keys last week uh, for the premises. It was previously a sports nutrition shop. So as you can see, there's lots of shelving and stuff we need to get rid of. We're trying to sell these shop shelving. Uh, it's been a week, not had any takers yet. What we're probably gonna do is just pull it all apart. Maybe if we can sell some, We'll uh, give it away pretty cheaply, who knows. Uh, so this is all gonna be gone. We've got a, um, it's not an A board, but a shop sign we can put out front, which is pretty cool. That came here, it was ready here when we arrived. So make use of that, random chair. This is the previous bar area. Um, debating whether or not we're gonna try and figure something out to change, utilize it and change it. Um, so we don't have to chuck it away. Uh, well, that's something we have to figure out what's going to happen. Obviously, you see, we've managed to already take down all the, uh, what have you called them, the panels and such. So you can see what's above it. Not much concrete, wires, boring things. Uh, that's probably enough of that. Into the back area, we've got a toilet, which is at the moment in a bit of a state pretty grimy lots of work to be done there hopefully uh mel my girlfriend's gonna help out wow look at that that just looks disgusting whatever that is um get some things done to make it look really nice so this is going to be pretty interesting to see the before and after of let's just close the door so we don't have to look at that anymore um this is another back room with sink and such like that. Also got a random thing, the freezer that came with the property. Uh, it's a chest freezer, uh, but the door's above this. So at some point I'm gonna have to pull this out and see what's inside. It might be something pretty gross, might be nothing in there, who knows, but that would be interesting. Um, we have here another storeroom, again, pretty empty, lots of work to be done. I guess I should actually show you guys how we're planning to lay this place out. So let me go to the front again and I'll explain what we're planning to do. So, like I said, this bar, originally we were planning to have the bar here, maybe bring it in a bit, make it a bit smaller, have tables and chairs all around this area, have something here, maybe a sofa, uh, but the good thing is we've realized that this wall here is a partition wall and we were going to have this whole area here as the cellar room. 
but we reckon we can actually bring this partition wall down, put a wall here, which will um, have a door on it, make this the cool room, a nice sort of bit of a smaller area, but it'd be plenty big enough considering how small the space is. Um, push that back. So this will come down, then pretty much this can't come down, but this, the rest of it, put the bar area here. So in fact, we're actually gonna open up all this space as, uh, as more bar area, it means more people, It'd be pretty fun. So I've just noticed there's somebody outside the window staring at me. Uh, I'm gonna awkwardly move into the back room so I'm not being looked at anymore. Still there? No, they've gone, okay, cool. Um, air conditioning unit, that's gonna come down. We had a guy come in, a um, coolant specialist. He had a look at it, he said it's probably like 20 years old. Uh, we tried to get it working, it wasn't working. He said there's no real point putting in any money or effort. We're just gonna take it down. Um, so yeah, probably somehow maybe try and reutilize this somehow. Uh, we don't know yet, let's see. Um, bar there, cooling room there with a nice little door and window perhaps so you can see what's going in. We have some tables and chairs along here, tables and chairs along here. I reckon we could probably fit in about 25, 30 people seated, which would be really nice. The plasterboard up there, as you can see, there's the actual wall behind it. We're gonna probably keep the plasterboard in, the actual weird uh, wall bits here, try and take the boards down. Obviously all the shelving is gonna go, same with this side. Take down the actual board, the backboard, leave the rest of it in. Um, the big, big, big project next is going to be the soundproofing. Part of the agreement that we had with the council when getting a change of use application to change this from a sports nutrition shop to a micropub was that we have to get sound insulation installed that complies to document E, approved document E. Don't really know too much about it, I've read a bit. Um, luckily I've got a friend who is a uh, engineer, structural engineer. He's had a look, he's gonna help me out, put this together. Above us is residential flats um so like i said we've agreed that we're going to put sound insulation which has to be approved the document we send to the council has to be approved then we can get working properly uh it is mid-november currently as you can see by the beautiful brilliant gray english sky outside uh the work required i don't know might cost a lot but yeah so all of this every single part of the wall the ceiling sorry has to be protected with sound insulation all the way along, even in here. So that's the first thing we need to get done. Once that's done, however long that takes, I'm not too sure. Hopefully we can uh, get the document we need to send to the council after them next week. I spoke to the council by email last week and they said it takes them about 21 days from me submitting the document uh, saying what the soundproofing is gonna be for them to apply and approve it. Hopefully, maybe it'll be quicker than that. Like I said, it's mid-November right now. We ideally want to open before Christmas. That's me being really optimistic. It might not be possible, but you know, you've got to try. Um, even if we open sort of at a half finished state, just to get some people coming in, close down over Chris, over sorry January, and uh, do a bit more work then to finish everything up. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Ideally, we're gonna have the, uh, I'm gonna get this wrong. It's lip and groove, tongue and groove. I think it's lip and groove the wood paneling basically going across um across all the walls down there and down here uh we've got a color scheme in mind again everything's up in the air it may change we'll have to wait and see the wood floor already is in place it's pretty good damn good so that stays as it is the door's pretty good the shutters are pretty good all stuff pretty good uh, i'm not showing the outside yet i'm going to do that later on um, we've got a shop sign already ordered. I'll probably put another little video together about that, about what's happening. Um, and what's next to show you guys? Yeah, so one thing that's kind of interesting, originally when we first looked at taking on this uh, premises for the pub, the sink here and plumbing, I'm not a plumber, I know very little about plumbing, but I do know that water goes down and you can't have runoff water go up in any way um, unless you probably buy something very expensive and we don't have much money. So 
we've always assumed we're going to have to have the bar area here. But what we've worked out is that we can actually put the bar area here, like I said earlier on, have the uh, bar there, push, knock down this wall, just a partition wall, put it back there so this whole area is the bar area. Run the water, have the sink here, run the water along the wall and down and then out of whatever gutter or whatever the term is down there. Um, we're going to have a partition come up across here. So this is going to become the storeroom. This will be the cellar, have a nice door, like maybe a slide door. Everything else in here be the coolants, maybe have the cast racks along there or along there or along here. Everything else fits in. Obviously, we've got to take down the uh, the flooring, put something nice in there, something waterproof or non-slip, that kind of stuff. Also, we're going to have to get uh, cooling. In not cooling, that's the opposite thing. We need to get insulation installed to sort of keep the temperature nice. We're probably going to have the cooling, uh, I don't know the language, the cooler installed there, running out through piping, going along the ceiling and out there somewhere. Um, get that all done. Again, it looks pretty grotty, but it'd be nice to sort of show you how that changes over time. The toilet looks pretty gross, as we've seen. This is a alarm system. Um, don't know if I should be saying this at the moment, it doesn't work. Apparently, if you turn it on, this is it here. Apparently, if you turn it on, it just blares the alarm for ages and uh, you can't actually turn it off. So pretty pointless having that going on. We don't know what this is. I'm guessing this used to be a uh, office space of some kind here. Uh, we will not be using any of this. So whether or not we can just tear it out, I'm not a builder. I don't know. Either way, we're going to have the wall here. This is going to become a nice little store area. Don't know if we're going to have the washing machine in here. The uh, yeah, sorry, glasses washer. We'll find out as we're getting nearer the time. So at first, we're going to be doing just car scale. Ciders, the sort of bag in the boxes. Um, no tap beer at first. The reason for that was pretty much keep things as easy as possible to set up with the financial reasons as well. Piping, cooling, things like that. Probably adds quite a few more thousand pounds on top of what we're spending already. I haven't really got that much money and we want to try and keep everything within budget keep it as simple as possible at first and then you know six months a year down the line we can get some tap beer in i would love to be able to have us have uh the growler system so be able to do three or four beers we can sort of put into the refillable growlers to take away um as something down the pipeline but yeah cask beer first so apologies for the uh, poor quality of my presentation at the moment. Again, this is something really new to me. Not really one to enjoy being in front of a camera. Uh, I'll try to get used to it. Uh, but yeah, that's everything for the time being. I will show you some more stuff later on. Um, maybe I'll do this sort of thing once a week. Depends how quickly we get things done. Yeah, uh, cheers and thank you for watching. Uh, to finish off on, I've got a little bonus video that I shot on the very day I got the keys to the property uh, from the previous tenant. So enjoy that and uh, cheers. See you later. So the very first issue I'm finding is uh, trying to find the light switch to turn the lights off. So I assumed it was this. Nope. I don't know what that is. Gotta keep that on water and electricity. Um, 